Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. This is the ANBT Air Cushion Machine. It's designed to take rolls of plastic like this and fill them with air so that you get these shipping air cushions or air packs. So I got this so that I could uh, make my own and not have to rely on finding them somewhere else. So whenever you open up the box, you get the machine itself in a nice foam package. It has a separate piece over here, which is the roller, and you'll have to use the included little Allen wrench to find the hole to kind of hold that in position so that you can turn it into place. So if you just do a tour around the machine real quick, the front side here is where the roller goes. You've got your air tube, your conveyor belt, a little cutting or a heat cutting uh, inside of here. And these two right here just uh, kind of keep the uh, plastic in position. The top display has a less, a more, a feed, a start stop, the speed of the plastic going through, the temperature, and the wind or the amount of air that goes into the bags. You've got your power cord, your on off button, and a little cooling fan on this side. There's a bit of a learning curve to get things to flow through this correctly, but I think I will manage no problem. So in the previous attempt at filming this video, I ran some of the bubble wrap through and it did work. But when I got to this other roll that I bought separately, it was too heavy and it wanted to tip over the machine. So I'm gonna use a clamp to kind of hold this from tipping forward. I guarantee it wasn't designed to do this, but I just wanna make sure that I can use that material that I, I got here. So, all right, there you go. That's locked that down to the table. Now let's pull this right here and I wanna pop that loose and hopefully it will still work on the machine, even though it's a little bit on the heavy side. I was struggling a bit to get this machine to work with this big film roll that I bought. The problem was the um, little knife wasn't cutting off the edge over here. And so what I've had to do is actually uh, just take a knife and go in here and start that cut. So just like that right there. And then whenever I get this fed onto the machine, it will start to, um, to work right. So let's give it a try here and see if it works on this case. I also slowed down the rollers uh, way down so that it had time to fill the bags and, uh, and heat cut them. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip this switch on. Oh, power first. All right, let me check my settings. So the speed is at 60, the temperature is at 180, and the wind is at 170, and that seemed to work well. So let me, uh, let's see, feed that in a little bit, okay. So now, hopefully this is ready to work. Let's give it a try here. It may have to warm up a couple of times before it really starts doing its job here. All right, so it takes maybe a time or two and I'll show you what's happening. When you pull this off, See, it's got this long sleeve that's not properly um, coming apart. So it does have a tear off there. I may have to just start it. See, it's supposed to um, hit that knife and just rip like that. Um, so, okay, let me start this new one and see if I can get that piece to, to start ripping off like it's supposed to. I did several feet last time and it worked just fine. So it's just a matter of getting it started. And once it's going, you can just really pull a lot of this stuff out of here. There we go. All right, let's try it again. That's what we're going for right there. I like those settings a lot. So I stopped it right here where it hit this. I should be able to tear that and hopefully pull this out. There we go. 
And uh, now I can just start it back right here later and it should be good to go. All right, so let me go ahead and turn that off. I just wanted to show you this machine. I like it already. It's taken a little bit of getting used to to get this big roll to work. Now the material that it came with, which is just these bags here, uh, no problems. It ran through those uh, as it should. Um, this one, it just had to have a little bit of coaxing to get that uh, tear off strip um, started. So, but anyway, it's good now. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Tools Second Gear and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.